Are you looking for an easy way to get those awesome highlights from your stream with practically no work involved? If so, stay tuned. What is going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. Today we're going to be taking a look at Athenoscope. Athenoscope is a web-based platform that processes your gameplay and makes highlights using machine learning and it is awesome and the best part is it's actually free to use right now and it might be free to use some of the features for quite a while there might be some premium pricing coming at some point in the future but we'll talk about that in just a minute and i also want to go ahead and state that this video is not sponsored by athena scope and that these opinions that are expressed in this video are solely mine that way you guys aren't getting any bs from us here so let's go ahead and jump into what is athena scope and what can you do with it so getting into it like I mentioned a second ago, Athenoscope is a web-based platform and you can stream to it or you can pull your stream from other popular platforms. They have support for Mixer and Twitch, which Mixer is going away, so currently just Twitch, or you can stream directly to it and you can use services such as Restream or other restreaming clients to stream to Twitch and also stream there as well so you can get clips or you can take your old streams through Twitch and actually import them into Athenoscope and it'll process your gameplay. And it currently has support for only a few games right now and they've got a growing Discord server where you can request games that you want added. And what they essentially do is they break down what is essentially a kill in a video game or what is a high scoring thing or what is a good feat in that game, what is something that is you did something spectacular what is clip worthy or highlight worthy and it also does low lights as well so you could actually stream together a bunch of clips of you getting killed over and over again and maybe make like a fail montage or things like that so there are a lot of things that this supports and it has even better features that are involved as well and we'll go ahead and switch over to pc i'll show you what athena scope looks like on the website and we'll actually talk about stuff like game sessions showcase videos and then actually how to use athena scope and then what are my opinions on athena scope as a web platform product that you could use so getting started, the first thing you'll want to do is go to athenascope.com, get an account, get registered, get signed in, and then you'll see something kind of like this. So let's go ahead and talk about the things that we're going to be covering in this video. So we're going to be talking about how to use Athenoscope or at least how to stream to it and then use it. And then we're also going to be talking about what are game sessions, what are showcase videos, what is squad rounds or what are squad rounds and what is the BRB screen and you know what is the week's showcase requirements because that actually influences whether or not you get a showcase video so we'll talk about all of that but let's first talk about how to get your video to athenoscope because there's multiple ways to do so getting started the first way which is probably the easiest way and that is to just stream to twitch like you would normally do if that's where you stream and then you can actually sign into athenoscope go to import twitch video and it'll ask you to link your account it currently has support for mixer but i know mixer is going to be going away very soon so by the time most of you watch this video that might not even be relevant but yeah definitely go ahead and do that and you can actually check a button that will automatically scan your streams and go ahead and pull clips from them and that is a really really cool feature the second way you can do this is you can stream directly to Athenoscope. So if we go to our settings and go here, we can actually see that we have a URL and a stream key, and you could paste that in like you would normally do if you were streaming to Twitch and just bypass Twitch entirely and just stream if you wanted to stream to Athenoscope and just stream to get highlights. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, like I said, the other feature, the first one that we mentioned is really good if you want to actually stream. This one is good if you just want to get highlights because if you stream to Twitch, it can be set up to auto import your clips automatically and then you're good to go as far as getting clips. So you can stream to your viewers and get clips at the same time and it's really easy. This route would be to just stream to get clips and not to stream to a group of people. The third option would be to download the Athenoscope stream tool. To do that, you would click here and click download Athenoscope and you would just install it and it looks exactly like OBS. It's a modified version of OBS and you would just sign into your Athenoscope account there, click stream and it would send your stream to Athenoscope and it would start processing it that way. This is another way of doing it of where you don't have anybody viewing your stream. You're essentially streaming to nobody but Athenoscope and Athenoscope is going to create clips and highlights based off of your gameplay. So now that we briefly covered on how to stream to Athenoscope, let's talk about the main thing, which are sessions. Whenever you stream to Athenoscope, whatever your segment of streaming is. So for example, if you stream for 25 minutes, 
stop streaming for an hour and then you stream another 25 minutes that's going to be broken into two different 25 minute game sessions so a game session is essentially a stream session so we can see here where i've streamed multiple times and we can see that no highlights have been found well the reasoning behind this is because i've been streaming games that aren't supported by Athenascope, but I have streamed some in the past and I actually have some showcase videos and some game sessions that will all show you in just a second. Um, what's really neat is this also shows you where the video comes from. This is set off the Twitch auto import and it's really neat because this literally does all of this without me having to have any input. Game sessions essentially are your streams to Athenascope, whether those are imported or streamed directly to it. So we can see if we click on something like here, we actually have a clip of me killing somebody in Call of Duty Warzone. And we can see that we clicked on an individual game clip right here in the game session. So we can see that we've got eight clips in one highlight. So if we click on the eight clips, it's gonna play the eight clips separately. And we can see that we've got a bunch of different stuff here. So let's click on this kill and we can see that it'll play it. It gives you options to add to your videos. You can even edit the video, download it, share it on social media, which is really cool, or even add it to a playlist. And that is the clips, but we can also see that we've got eight kills together, and this is actually the highlight that we saw back here a second ago. So if we go here and click on the one highlight, it's gonna play these eight kills, but we actually have to click on it here for some reason. A little different, a little particular. And we can see if we play that out, that it is going to actually clip all of those things together kind of put a nice little transition fade and um yeah there you go so that's how you would go ahead and pull highlights that way now this just has the game audio or your audio depending on however you streamed it in doesn't have any music or anything like that in it and it is a basic very basic just fade transition now on the other hand you could participate in the weekly showcases and the weekly showcases have requirements and support different games for example there might be three or four games that have a weekly showcase requirement sometimes there might only be one so we can see that warzone currently has one and you have to get at least 11 enemy downs or kills and you have to have one match starting and then one victory or enemy down or kill and the reason that they do this is this is how the machine learning algorithm is piecing together the clips to make a cool montage and that's what's pretty cool about it we can see that there is a requirement on when we need to have these done by and also if you want your best plays to be in there you go ahead and pin them to your account and they get priority making sure that they are more likely to use your better clips so you would definitely rather have a clip of where you get eight kills in one quick succession as opposed to where you only get two so definitely go ahead and pin your good clips that way you're more likely to be used um, we'll talk about the showcase videos in just a second. I just want to cover some of this other stuff. We can see that the supported games are down here and we can click learn more, see what's supported. Um, certain games like League of Legends is actually in beta right now and that'll be that way for a little while until they get that sorted out. We can see popular clips and also we can see what's new. So this is essentially like patch notes for a game, but this is patch notes for Athenascope. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of my showcase videos. And they do have music synced with them and they are really, really neat, but I'm not gonna be playing any of the music specifically because of copyright. And I believe all the music that they use is either non-copyrighted or Athenoscope goes out of their way to get licensing to use it so that we can use it as well. And I don't believe you should run into any of those issues, but just for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna be doing that. But we can actually see where there are different cuts and transitions and they are on beat and they like to bounce back and forth between different clips and this works with stuff such as Apex Legends as well as even things like Call of Duty Warzone and League of Legends and other games like that. Another neat feature of Athenoscope are squad rounds. Squad rounds essentially are a combination of multiple people's clips that are playing together mesh together in a montage format so for example if me and three other people were playing say a competitive video game such as call of duty and it was pulling clips from that what it would do if we all uploaded our clips or all had our clips imported from the same game it would pull clips from the same game and mesh those into a kind of a mega montage from three to four different people which is really really cool and something i've never seen before I have personally not used this yet because I have not had anybody that I've been playing with using Athenoscope as well, but it is a really neat feature that seems to be very popular on Athenoscope among some of the streamers. 
The last thing I want to show you guys is something that I think is absolutely awesome and that is this right here. This is your Be Right Back link and this is meant to be used inside of OBS as a browser source. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to show you guys how to use this. You're probably going to see a little bit of inception over here because I'm going to overlay OBS so you guys can see this. But what you would do is you would copy that link, click here and then add a browser source. So we would add a browser source. You would name it whatever. So for example, you name it BRB, click OK paste in the URL, set the width to 1920, the height by 1080, click OK. And then you'd make sure this eyedropper is set to where you can see it. And it would actually play different showcase videos and highlights from your channel on Athenascope, which is super neat. So for example, imagine a BRB screen, and then you could size this down a little bit, figure out where you want it. And you could really, really, really do some cool stuff with it. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and we'll say that I have a BRB screen for some reason, even though this is literally just my you know, browser. But you could set this over to the side, crop it out however you want, and then put Be Right Back, and then have highlights playing whenever you are gone from your machine. That way people are still interested in what you're streaming, and they don't get bored while you have to say, take a bathroom break or go get something to eat. So I sent an email to the developers of Athenascope and asked a few questions and I was lucky enough to get a response from Luke over at Athenascope. So let's go ahead and go through the questions that I asked and look at some of the answers that they gave me. Starting first with what state of development is this service in? He replied with, we still have a lot to build. We launched last year with four plus games, a limited feature set, and have been working on expanding our game coverage and ways to get content to Athena and the types of content you can get from the service. The second question I asked is, is there currently or will there be a public roadmap for the development of Athenascope? He said there is currently not a public roadmap and we don't have plans to release one, but we do give hints and info about what is in progress on their Discord. So check out their Discord server to see what new games are possibly coming to Athenascope. How many games does the development team intend to support? We plan to support most major titles across different genres, but it does take some time to train the AI on each. We have been prioritizing popular requests such as large new releases such as Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Valorant. What is the typical time needed to add support for a new title? Well that varies on a number of factors such as if we have supported a similar game, the depth of coverage, what content types and game specific concepts, and the accessibility of the needed information in the game. So I would assume these type of things are really what affect whether or not a title gets added quickly or maybe not even added at all. Are there plans to add or move to a premium model in the future? And he replied with, we're looking into adding some premium features down the line, but have made no public announcements at this time. Now, this is me just guessing here, but this kind of sounds like that they do plan on adding some kind of premium features in the future, but still allowing people to have access for free. But we'll see what that kind of relates to in the end. I want to go ahead and also give a big shout out and thanks to Luke for going ahead and emailing me back. That's not something he had to do, but I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's go ahead and move over to my conclusion. So to wrap up, would I recommend Athenascope? Yes, I would. I think it's a great service and I'm interested to see what other features they add in the future. And I hope they support a lot more games going forward because there are certain titles that I play now that it doesn't currently support. And hopefully we'll see you know, more titles be added fairly soon. And hopefully that process doesn't take too long, but it does differ from game to game like mentioned earlier. But it's pretty good and it does have its flaws from time to time, but the service that it is, it already saves you tons of time as opposed to going back and scrubbing through your Twitch uh, streams or your past streams on other platforms and picking up clips from there. So if you stream or even play a video game that this supports currently, I definitely recommend Athenascope for you. And if you have any questions or you're interested in it and you wanna ask somebody, definitely go check out their Discord. I will link it down below because they have been awesome for answering my questions for this video and for you guys, and they'll definitely answer your questions over there as well. So that is gonna be all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button and get subscribed to How To Tech if you aren't already. We just passed 2000 subscribers on the channel and I appreciate it so much, guys. And if you guys want to, also check out our community Discord link down below. We now have over 300 members on our community Discord and we're growing every day. 
And yeah, guys, thank you so much for the support. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you guys take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.